so mainly three surfaces i told you one is the superior lateral or simply the lateral surface then you have the medial surface and then you have the inferior surface so superior lateral surface is wide you are able to see very wide area it has got and uh, it is made up of numerous gyri and sulci and it is convex somewhat uh, bulging outwards okay that is the superior lateral surface the next uh, surface you are able to see is the medial surface so again in the medial surface you are able to see numerous uh, gyri and uh, sulci and one uh, uh, important aspect you come across is the corpus callosum so here are able to see that is called as the corpus callosum so anteriorly it is uh, the bend is called as the genu and then you have the body or of the corpus callosum and then this small bulged part is actually called as the splenium of corpus callosum okay and uh, then you come across extending more rostrally uh, is the rostrum of the corpus callosum okay so <clears throat> from the genu again you have more anteriorly that is called as the rostrum of the corpus callosum immediately below the corpus callosum you are able to see a thin membrane like structure that is called as the septum pellucidum okay so the septum pellucidum uh, is a membrane uh, and deep to that only you see the cavity of the lateral ventricle of course the lateral ventricle is somewhat c shaped it extends uh, into the frontal parietal and also some extent uh, posteriorly to the occipital and also the temporal lobe because it is a primitive cavity and all these uh, lobes are actually developed around it okay and this band of white matter you are able to see is the fornix so it is a part of the limbic system so the fornix is a part of the limbic system and below that uh, what you are able to see is the uh, thalamus and the hypothalamus which we have just uh, discussed in the last uh, lecture okay so mainly you come across the corpus callosum cavity of the lateral ventricle covered by the septum pellucidum okay medial surface next uh, the other surface what you see is the inferior surface so here you are able to see the inferior surface of course the cerebellum and the remaining part of the brain stem the lower part of the brain stem is removed and only the part of hind sorry part of mid brain you are able to see the crust cerebri and uh, so you are immediately below it the tegmentum of the mid brain and the tectum of the mid brain and the uh, cerebral aqueduct all these things you are able to see here now if you look at the inferior surface uh, it has got an anterior part and a posterior part uh, what divides this inferior surface the anterior and posterior part is a sulcus which is actually called as the lateral sulcus so we will actually come to the uh, lateral sulcus different sulci and gyri shortly but just remember the lateral sulcus divides the inferior surface into um, the small orbital part because uh, this surface is uh, lying on the roof of the orbit okay and uh, the posterior part is the tentorial part because it is resting on top of the uh, tentorium cerebelli a yeah, dural fold so naturally the supratentorial compartment lodges uh, your uh, the tentorial surface